Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon man. Uh, before I start talking, I want to appreciate our Archbishop, Archbishop Guerrero, President of the GPA. Thank you. Uh, of course, by it, I want to appreciate your presence and the people that come with you. Mama, I appreciate you too. And uh, all the doctors, all the nurses, all the pastors, everybody that is here, I appreciate your presence. You. I want to say everybody is important. Everybody is a dignity here. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. And Elijah and Elijah, you are especially welcome. Uh, I want to let you know something, that uh, vision, there is no vision that speaks for itself at the beginning. But at the end of the day, the vision will speak itself. So please don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged where you have come, you have come far by faith, and then you will still go far by faith. At the end, the vision will speak. What did I say? At the end, the vision will speak. There is no vision that speaks at the beginning. No vision. People will even call you dreamer. Joseph, uh, they call you different kind of names. But stick to your vision. At the end of the day, it will speak for itself. Amen. Princess, I appreciate you. All the workers here, I want to appreciate you. My boy, Sam, I appreciate you. Uh, Sister Awafit, thank you. Yes, sir. And coming with me is Abiola, who is also a nurse. And my daughter that I've never met. <laughs> we speak on phone, not even, I've not seen her before. <laughs> Whenever she calls me and say your daughter, I say, ha, this is your daughter that I have not, we have never seen. We'll talk several times for almost one or two years that she's been calling me. We just talk. <laughs> well, I, never, I met her here today. I want to talk about, because it's Women's Month and things that are particular to women. And then at the end of the day, we'll check you. We'll check ourselves. And then uh, everything that the nurses have spoken about, they are right. They are okay. So I'm just here to put a little in here and there. Are you with me? So with questions, maybe later we'll be able to cover. There might be any there may be nothing that I'm be saying to you today that you've never heard before. I want you to know that. I may not be saying anything new, but something I know very sure is that not everything that I will talk about that you are doing. It's not everything that I will talk about that you are doing. Are you with me? Number one thing is, this body, everybody show your body, touch your body. Please touch it. Yeah. It's very important. Everybody say it's important. Please say it again. Uh, treat it with respect. Because we have been treating this body as if we don't need it, as if it's useless. Without this body, we cannot do anything on earth. The moment this body dies, that person ceases to exist on earth. Are you with me? Yes. So that is why we should pay particular attention to how this body functions. For you to talk to me, for you to be here, this body has to bring you here. Are you with me? Yes. For this vision to be working, for everything here to be going on, this body has to be here. It has to be alive. So please, from today, if there's anything you will take away from here, people at the back, where is the, the this boy? The real estate guy. Uh, Your brother in law, eh? Ah, I was just teasing Daffet, I was just teasing him now. Alright, no problem. Leave him move. Okay. So if there is anything you will take away from this place, take this away. Your body is very important for you to be alive. Mm. And so everything we'll be talking about is about how we to maintain to, to belong here to be alive for a long time. Mm. Are you with me? Mm. So, because of the way of our life, there are so many things, I don't know what we have talked about today. Let me just see, what have you heard something about today? That fitness, that of about? Huh? fitness of the body. Fitness of the body. Fitness of the body. What else? Huh? Eh? Good eating habits. Hypertension. Have we spoken about hypertension? Very sugar. Our sugar. sugar. You've spoken about sugar diabetes. Yeah. What of cancer? Mm -hmm. No. Not. Okay, let's start from hypertension. And then, as I said, I thought because it's women, we have to talk about uh, emotions. You understand? Your mood. Thank you so much. Your mood. We have to talk about that.
High blood pressure is one of the killers that we have in the society today. And it should not be. Are you with me? Yeah. Please don't wait. When somebody is about 50, you should be reducing the salt that you take in. It's very important. It's one of the things that causes hypertension. And unfortunately, that hypertension is even more common among women than men. Are you with me? Yeah. And uh, if you're above 50 or you are getting towards that age, start checking your blood pressure regularly. Start checking your blood pressure regularly. And the way you eat, they talk about body fitness and eating habits. Yeah. Reduce salt is what I will add. I don't know what you are talking about, but I hear my sister talking about fish and everything. I know her very well. You understand? And she, the way she looks is the way her character is beautiful. Am I right? <laughs> Thank you so much. So, um, reduce salt and please check your blood pressure. Today, the nurses are here, they will check your blood pressure before you go. If it is above 120 over 80 and it's getting above 140 over 90, you are in problem. Are you with me? Please. Most of the time you hear people, they say they are talking and they slump and die. It is not wishes. It is not a wizard. It is not arrow from who? It is, it is high blood pressure. High blood pressure. It is stroke. Uh, not out of from me. Back you from me. Is, are, are you with me? Yeah. You see, most of the things we call arrow from home and all this is our ignorance. Are you with me? So ignorance will kill people without knowing. And then let's talk about sugar. Like you're talking about carbohydrate and everything. Everything should be consumed in moderate. Everything. If too much eating is not good. You understand? Even me myself, this thing. Should not be too much. Mukaba, mukul. Hmm? I, I go right. I go right. Uh, when you are growing too much uh, tummy, we need to start watching something for ourselves. It's a bad sign. Are you with me? You are not paying attention to your health. This morning, as I was dressing up to come here, my wife still said to me, "Say, I wish you can pay attention to your health a little." And that is because of my stomach. Eh? You can say I'm good looking, but at the same time, this thing is not being hurt. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, one other thing, I've spoken about hypertension. Let's talk about cancer. We will not die of cancer in Jesus' name. Amen. But you see, in life, prevention is better than cure. Yeah. If we can detect cancer early, Mm. If you can detect cancer very early, we can get rid of cancer. Mm. Among women, there are two major cancers that are killing, breast and womb. And you can get rid of it by checking yourself, visiting doctors, let them check your breast for you. Especially every woman, if you're above 18 and you're a woman, you understand me, or you start having children, you understand, you should check your breast. Visit doctor, just a doctor, check my breast. Then the other one is the womb. If you're above 18, and you have never had sex, and you have more than 24, you've never had sex, you should still check. You understand? Unfortunately, because of the advent of HIV, because of HIV around, it even occur at a very early age now. So if anybody is HIV positive, you should be checking the pap smear. Pap smear is what we use to check the cancer of the womb. Mm. Are you getting me? Yeah. So it should be checking six months. HIV is, is no more something that uh, Serious. We, uh, we are ashamed of everything mm. about now. There is no family around that they don't have one person or the other. It's either that you know that you know one person that know one person or related to one person that is HIV positive. Are you getting me? Yeah. So we should not be that ashamed of it. So that early detection, early prevent, prevention is number one better than care. Mm. Early detection also helps us in everything. Among men, the killer uh, cancer is the prostate and colon cancer for both. Are you with me? Yeah. Please, it's better check yourself. How do you check for uh, prostate cancer? Visit your doctor. Doctor will check. Women don't have prostate. Or how many women have prostate? Yeah. Never. <laughs> you know, prostate is, uh, you know, where we call blockers? Yeah. The scrotum. Mm. Yes. The prostate is where the sperm is being produced and it's missing with uh, fluid. fluid. We call it semen. Uh, semen. Uh, sperm is produced with semen. Semen, yeah. Yes, that is, that is why it's only men that have it. Every man that is above 40, you should be checking your prostate. Are you getting me? Mm. Prevention is better than? Kill. Prevention is better than? Kill. <laughs> and all these handsome men and women that goes around, you have two, three girlfriends. We need to be careful. 
because we are the one that causes cancer. There is something at the tip of the penis. When you take it from the tip of the penis, they call it HPV virus. HPV, human papilloma virus. When you carry it here and you move from one woman to the other, there is a tendency to get give that person cervical cancer. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. So that is the reason why it is, people may say you have many wives. Many wives is many spread of cervical cancer. That's right. Are you getting me? You see, when God said we should speak to only one wife, he has reasons. Reasons beyond our comprehension. Because by the time you move from this person, move from this person, move from this person, you take that virus that is not okay here, and you put it on this person, this person develops cervical cancer, sitting down at home. Are you with me? So I've spoken about all the cancers. Then colorectal cancer is quite common. And uh, please just visit doctor, they will check your stool. When they take your sheet or stool, do you understand what I mean by that? Yeah. Mm. And they check it, they'll see if there's blood in it. You understand? Then that is a sign of cancer. I've seen so many people die of cancer in this country, they think they are having what we call jedi jedi. Mm. Hello? Yes. What do I call it? Yes. Uh, not every pie. Not every hemorrhoid is pile or hemorrhoid. Mm. Most of them are cancer. Before people kill themselves, please. Mm. And you know, it is treatable. I am so sorry. Uh, um, you know, our traditional thing, they will say, when you have backache, it's when you, uh, your, your, you cannot perform very well, sexual dysfunction, everything is uh, jedi jedi, jedi, jedi. Uh, hemorrhoid, pile. It is not true. You understand? As a matter of fact, hemorrhoid or pile has nothing to do with sugar. Am I right? Yes. Uh, all yes. the nurses here will tell me. It has nothing to, to do, do with do. sugar. You. Are you with me? Pile, um, um, no back in sexual dysfunction. It is not sugar problem. Uh, too much sugar is not good though. There are some people that if they take sugar like this, it's a problem. I know. You understand? I'm not encouraging it, but what I'm saying is that the pile, 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 not everything is fine. Are you with me? Mm. So generally, we need to take care of that. The one that we don't take care of most, that is killing people, is worry, <laughs> anxiety. Worry, anxiety. How do we pay bills? How do we get money? How do we do this? How do we do that? And that gives hypertension. It makes you not to sleep. Do you understand? Mm. I've seen people that they are not, you will check them from head to toe. Okay, can we see, can we see stress inside the blood pressure? No. It is those anxiety things that will even precipitate blood pressure. Mm. You don't have it before, but because you are worried, because you are uh, anxious and not sleeping well, problem starts. So let us stop there. Action is better than uh, too many words. Prevention is better than cure. Uh, but action is better than too many Talk, talk, talk. Mm. You understand? They said um, there's an English word that says ejaculation is better than tautology. <laughs> Have you heard that before? <laughs> Hello? Hi. Uh -huh. So from now on, I think we will register the open card for us. Let's check our blood pressure. Let's check our sugar. Let's check our urine. And we'll see, we'll take it up from there. Okay. If anything goes wrong, we'll advise you. Thank you. If you have questions, uh, Sister Faith, you can come. All the nurses that are with me, you can come so that they can ask you questions. You, they, you can ask questions that we can clarify. Did I, did I cover everything? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming.